okay guys i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet now let's solve this uh, problem from hebler dynamics and the problem says that if it takes 35 seconds for the 50 megagram tug board so we have this 50 megagram tug board and it's a, it increases its speeds uniformly to 25 km per hour starting from rest so the initial velocity of the tug board and the whole system is zero and then after 35 seconds the whole system attains the uniform speed of 25 km per hour it is said that determine the force of the rope on the tug board so we have to find the tension in this rope and it is said that the propeller provides the propulsion force f which gives the tug board forward motion whereas the bar moves freely also determine f acting on the tug board the bar has a mass of 75 megagram so first of all we will consider uh, we will consider only the tug board so let me write that we are considering the duck the tug board only so the mass of the tug board is 70 uh, 50 mass is 50 megagram so mega means 10 raised to the power 6 grams or we can say that this is 50 into 10 raised to the power 3 kgs so for tug board we have to draw the free body diagram so we will have that tension t here we will have the tension t in the rope which is going to act in this direction so this is the tension which is going to act towards the left and this force f is acting on the tug board which is the propeller force so we are going to apply the principle of uh, impulse and momentum in the horizontal direction and we are considering this as our positive direction so the principle of linear momentum says that the initial momentum of the tug board plus the summation of the impulses due to the external forces that will be equal to the final momentum now it is said that the the whole system starts from rest so the initial velocity is zero so this will become zero and uh, on the tug board we have two forces one is the tension and the other one is the this force f so the force f is going to produce the positive impulse since force f is acting in the positive direction in the this is our positive assumed direction so we will write that the impulse due to that force f is f dt and the impulse due to the tension is acting in the negative direction so that will be minus t dt and this is equal to the mass mass of the tug board is 50 into 10 raised to the power 3 and v2 v2 is given which is 25 km per hour so first let me convert this v2 v2 is 25 km per hour and 1 km is 1000 meters and 1 hour is 3600 second so kilometer and hour will cancel out and we will be left with meter per second and this gives us 6.944 meter per second so this is v2 velocity so now the v2 velocity is given we have to put it here now v2 velocity is this is 6.944 meter per second now we have to integrate this from 0 to 35 seconds since uh, it is said that the tug board and the whole system takes 35 seconds to attain that velocity so we will integrate this from 0 to 35 seconds this is from 0 to 35 and now when we integrate this so this will give us f into t from 0 to 35 seconds and then this will give us t into t from 0 to 35 seconds and this is 50 into 6.944 and in place of 10 to the power 3 i am going to write kilo right the answer will be in kilo newtons right so now if we put these limits so this will be f into 35 minus 0 minus t into 35 minus 0 equals to 50 50 into 6.944 nine four four and this is in kilonewtons so now this will be 35 f 35 minus 0 is 35 so this is 35 f minus 35 t and this is equal to 50 
into 6.944 and if we divide both sides of the equation by 35 so we will have f minus t equals to 50 into 6.944 divided by 35 which will give us f minus t equals to 10.21 kilonewton so this is that f minus t let's say this is our equation one now for we will apply the principle of uh, impulse and momentum for the bar only so for, for in case of the bar we will have the tension t which is going to act towards the right so we need to show that tension here as well so we will have that same tension t and this on, this tension t is the this tension t is the only force which is acting on the bar there is no any external force on the bar so now i will write that for bar So now again we have to apply the principle of impulse and momentum which says that m u1 the initial momentum plus the summation of the impulses due to the external forces equals to the final momentum and we are assuming towards the right direction is our positive direction and again the, the integration will be from 0 to 35 seconds. Now again the tugboat is attached uh, with the bar and the bar is attached with the tugboat so as a whole system they will have same velocity so the initial velocity of the bar will also be zero so this will become zero and the impulse on the tugboat is only due to the tension t so we can write that this is t dt this will be integration of t dt and this is equal to the mass of the tugboat now the uh, the mass of the bar so the mass of the bar is 75 so this is 75 into 10 raised to power 3 into v2 so now if we integrate this this will be from 0 to 35 and now this gives us t into t and we have to put these limits from 0 to 35 and this is 75 into 10 raised to the power 3 v2 so now if i put these limits this will be t 35 minus 0 equals to 75 and and we know v v2 this is v2 let me put v2 here right so this is 6.944 this is 6 into 6.944 so this is 75 into 6.944 kilo right so this is this is kilo newtons instead of 10 for 3 we are writing it as kilo so this will be this will give us 35t this is 35t equals to 75 into 6.944 kilo and if we divide both sides by 35 so we will get that tension t the force which the tugboat applies on the bar so this t comes out to be 14 point this is equal to 14.88 kilo newton now we know the force of the tugboat on the bar and now if I put this T value in this equation, this equation 1, so we will be able to find that propeller force which is applied on the tugboat. Uh, okay guys, while calculating this, I have done very small mistake. So this is uh, 50 into 6.944 divided by 35. This gives us 9.92 instead of 10.21, uh, this is 9.92. So please do correction this is this is this is 9.92 so now if if i put this t value in this uh, equation one so we will get that force f of the uh, of the propellers on the tugboat so this will be 9.92 plus that tension t and this is 9.92 plus that 14.88 so this will give us 9.92 plus 14.88 this gives us 24.8 so the force f is 24.24.8 kilonewton so this is the force of the propeller on the tugboat and this is the force of the tugboat on the bar so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning